Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I'm still doing my getting ready for the Super Bowl items, y'all. Still getting ready for them. And I got some more to show you here. And then all of my majority of my uh, Super Bowl menu item favorites, or however you say it, are very simple and easy, y'all. Because when you're doing 25, 30 different items, you want some that's quick and easy, but they gotta be good. And here's another one right here, y'all. My two ingredients, this, these things, I have to make about, I usually I make about 32 of these. Each one of these hold eight. I'm gonna show you here in a second which one I use. How many is in here? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So you, I buy about three packages of these, and I buy about three of these. So that gives me about over three dozen, two dozen. What I use, y'all, the crescent rolls, but I use the sweet Hawaiian. You know, you can they have different kinds, the regular whatever, but the sweet Hawaiians take this to the next level, y'all. This is why I use the Pillsbury crescent roll. And I use the Etrich. Sometimes they have the hickory smoked sauce. Sometimes I use the breakfast sausage. And I use the long ones. And I don't use the mini thing. I use they have the long ones like this. It works perfect. Let me show y'all how I do this. And these go so fast. I try to put these out kind of last when I get the buffet open. Because they're so convenient. I serve them with a little uh, hot mustard or a little, uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, Dijon mustard. Some people eat it with barbecue sauce. So we're gonna get eight of these out of here, y'all. It's very simple, y'all, this here. And I'll have these ready to go. I have them already on the pan, ready to just put in the oven. After my party gets started, people start coming. I'll just throw them in the, in the oven. So it's very simple, y'all. Like I say, you just uh, unroll these bad boys. Off that throwing on the cutting board here. Get this out the way. Just unroll these bad boys out. Just like this. Get these out the way here. So over here, like I say, y'all, nothing like using nothing wrong when you got a party going on. Nothing wrong with using the. Uh, see how it fits on there perfectly. That's why I use the the uh, that's why I use the long ones. You just roll it up. Just like that. See that? Put it on my sheet pan over here. I'll show y'all in just a second. I can show y'all. If y'all never tried the sweet Hawaiian roll, crescent rolls. And let me tell y'all something about crescent rolls. I like these better than actual croissants. Uh, like they say, croissants in France. And just roll them up just like that. Get the other one on here. Put them on here like that. And like I said, I do about two or three dozen of these things. And these are one of some of the most popular. My brother loves them. A lot of people get them just popping them in the mouth like that. And uh, sometimes when I get low, I'll cut them in half, y'all. I'll show you that as well. But yeah, we'll get these last two roll up. I say, y'all, it's a party favorite. Party favorite, y'all. And I'll put a little egg wash on them as well. I'll show y'all that in a second. But how easy is this, huh? <laughs> how easy is this for a party favorite, right? Put them up just like that. All right, I got my sheet pan right here. So parchment on there. Get that out the way, and all I do, I'll just take a little, little egg wash there and brush it on there. Or to get a nice little color on them. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That's it. Put it in the oven, 350 degrees, y'all. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. And these bad boys will be ready. So we'll be right back when they get ready. Another quick Super Bowl favorite. I don't know what you call it. Some people call it pigs in the blanket. Some people call it sausage, wrap sausage. I don't know what you want to call it. But I just call it good. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. Look at this, y'all. Look how easy and quick this is. Like I say, y'all, this took 15 minutes to cook in the oven. And somebody come in your house and say, oh, my God, this is amazing. How do you do that? 
so easy, so simple. And what I do, y'all, I just serve it with some, my favorite for this is uh, spicy brown, let me flip that back over. Ooh, that's hot. Spicy brown mustard, spicy mustard goes well with these. Of course, I do more than this, and of course they would. This I wouldn't. Eat, I don't even bother put on the buffet hotline. As we would say the hotline on the buffet, because they don't stay around long enough to get <coughs> to get cold or anything like that. This is what I use here. So y'all playing along at home. This is what I use with it. Go, and it's not really really spicy. It'll like open up your sinuses a little, but it's not really really spicy. So. I'm going to step off, do that world famous YouTube thumbnail. We're going to come back and taste one of my Super Bowl, another Super Bowl favorite. I'm giving y'all all my top 15 the next 15 days in a row, uh, my Super Bowl favorites. I can't give y'all, but I'm going to give you the ones that my family, friends, and neighbors absolutely love every year and look for every year. So anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this here, y'all. That's a plate of goodness right there. And I know y'all thinking, well, I could eat four or five, six. I could eat four or five, six of these. But at my party, when you have 25, 30 different options, a person CD, they're going to pick up one. Or they might pass them over and come back later because they got so many options in front of them. And uh, I'm going to put a link and forget my, if I don't forget my Super Bowl party live. I streamed it last year. And you'll see how many, what am I talking about? the many options that I have. So when my neighbors and friends and relatives see that, I say, oh my God, I get that. That ain't gonna fit on my plate. I so I have to come back two or three times. So I know why I never run out of food because I have so much of it that it's impossible for people to eat. I have never, I've been a Super Bowl party for years, since the 90s. I have never run out of food, ever, ever. I've all had ways had to take people, people take stuff home and there still be stuff left over. Last year I had so much stuff left People, y'all can see on the video, people taking stuff home, and I still had a lot of food left over to put my neighbor. So that's why I do it. So anyway, let's go over here and taste this here. We're going to dip here. Of course, at the party, they wouldn't dip it like that. You'd uh, put it on the side of your plate. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Go ahead. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Them Hawaiian rolls. This takes it to the next level, y'all. Takes it to the absolute next level on these things. Mm, mm, mm. And like I say, y'all, the spicy mustard gives it a little hit, but not, it's not like, oh my God, it's spicy. No, it ain't spicy like that. See the sausage is cooked inside completely. All right, and tender and juicy. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. Good eating that, y'all. You know, the football party you need a lot of pickup dessert. Pickup desserts. Pick up. Ooh, because some people standing up watching the game, can't control themselves, can't sit down, they hype. It's something you just pick up and walk around with. And this is one of the favorites right here. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like the video, talking with my mouth full. <laughs> if you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow me on social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2024. Stop wishing, start doing old school soul food. Until next time. Have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy Super Bowl. Love y'all. Bye.